So now we're going to look at law of signs. Uh, what is law of signs? You would use law of signs to find lengths of sides and the measures of angles of a triangle um, if, if you know angle, angle, side, or angle, side, angle. So for example, um, here is... <clears throat> Here's an example of where you have angle, side, angle, and you would be able to find um, maybe the measure of BC, for example. All right, so that's an example of, <clears throat> of how you would use it. And once again, it's just it's not just a right triangle; it's it's any triangle. So here's my generic triangle, triangle ABC. I, I again named the vertices that way. The sides opposite, I call lowercase of that. All right, so what the law of sines is, and you can see it this, this is actually a proportion. And all it is is I would take the sine of this angle over this. That ratio would be equal to the sine of this angle over this side. That ratio would be equal to the sine of this angle over this side. So it actually makes, and you're not going to do all three at the same time, but you'll be able to do two. And, and the advantage of this is you, with those ratios, you could find the lengths of sides and the measure of angles. So let's do a couple examples here. Um, if I were you, I'd go ahead and write this down somewhere because you're going to need this on your assignment. But <clears throat> looking at an example, I call it example number two here, but find the length of BC, all right? So we're supposed to find this one right here, all right? So we're gonna find the length of this. Now, the one thing about law of sines is you have to have the measure of an angle and the length of the side opposite that angle. If you don't have that, then you'll have to use law of cosines or something else. But in this case, um, we will be able to find it. You'll notice that I don't have it yet, but I can easily find it by the triangle angle sum theorem. All I have to do is go, okay, well, 180 minus the sum of 26 and 17, which is, what, 43? 180 minus 43 is 137 degrees. So we know this angle right here is 137 degrees. Now I'm going to use it. So now I have the angle and the side opposite angle, so I can plug it into the law of sines. Um, law of sines again. So I'm going to go... Sine of 137 over 14 equals the, and what I'm trying to find, BC, sine of 17 over A. And that, that would be the length that I'm trying to find. So here we go. So we're going to go sine of 137 over the length of the side opposite that equals... And then I want me to find this, and here's my vertex A, so this is a little a, okay? So that would be sine of 17 over lowercase a. Remember that lowercase a right now is the length of BC, okay? So I have, these are all numbers, and I have one variable. This is a, this is a, uh, an example where I can use cross products, okay? So product of the extremes equals a product of the means. So I'm going to write this as a times sine of 137. Remember, we're doing cross products. Equals 14 times sine of 17. Now understand this: that I'm like when I take 14 times sine of 17. This is not the same thing as a sine of 17 times 14. This is a constant. This is a, a coefficient. So multiply the 14 times this. This has a value. Sine of 17 has a value. We're going to take that value times 14, and that's that's where we're at. So from here, I'm going to divide both sides to get A all by itself. Divide both sides by the sine of 137. Okay. That eliminates that. I get A equals, and then just a matter of plugging this into the calculator, and you've got to make sure you do it correctly. Um, a lot of parentheses issues here, so pay attention. So I'm going to go... Um, Parentheses, 14 times sine of, and then it's going to go 17. I got to end the parentheses there and then end the parentheses for the, for the top. So what we're looking at is basically I've typed in this, okay? And then after I've done that, I'm going to get that value 
and then divide by sine of 137. That ends up giving me, it says around to the nearest tenth. So I'm looking at 6.0, 6.0. So the length of BC is 6.0 inches. Okay, and I'm going to change this just because it's, it's a rounded number. So it's approximate. And that's how we use law of signs to find a, to find a side. Looking at this one. Now we're going to try to find the angle. Um, again, I know I'm going to use all of sines here because I have an angle and a side opposite that angle, so that's a ratio I, I need to have. So I'm going to go ahead and write that. <clears throat> and this is my unknown. So I'm going to go sine of 83 degrees over 33, that's a ratio, equals, and then they want me to find the measure of angle C. So sine of C over the side opposite of angle C is 13. Another proportion, we're just going to go ahead and solve it, cross product. So um, let's go 33 times sine of C equals 13 times sine of 83. Divide both sides by 33. So I get sine of C equals 13 sine of 83 all over 33. Now, in order to get the C all by itself, I need to do sine inverse of both sides. Okay, so now the rest of it's just plugging into a calculator, but this is going to cancel with this. That gives me C is about equal to. All right, so I'm going to do sine inverse. And then we're looking at 13 times sine of 83 and the parentheses and we're going to divide that by 33 and the original parentheses i think that's yep and that gives me right at 23.0 so the measure of angle c is about 23.0 degrees, make sure to label it. And that's how we use law of signs.